students welcome in this youtube channel let's do this case study based question this question is taken from class 10 chapter statistics so let's see what is in the question uh, recently the half yearly examination was conducted in dab public school the mathematics teacher maintains a record of the marks of 100 students on the basis of the recorded data of the marks obtained in mathematics the histogram is given below so this is a histogram given so along x-axis these are the marks obtained and along y-axis these are the number of students so let's read this histogram and draw the table from this also so I have written this so from 0 to 20 marks how many students are there 15 students are there so here marks obtained 0 to 20 15 students now 20 to 40 there are uh, 18 students are there okay you can count here 18 are there so from 40 to 60 there are uh, uh, 21 students right and from 60 to 80 there are uh, 29 students right and from 80 to 100 there are uh, 17 students right so if you add these all there should be 100 students okay so we can check also so these are 100 students total right so let's see what are the questions now mm, the question is first question is uh, on the basis of the above histogram answer the following uh, questions first is identify the model class from the given graph so model class which is the model class the class where there is a maximum frequency so maximum frequency is here only 60 to 80 because there are uh, uh, 29 students so 60 to 80 is the model class so here uh, this 60 to 80 c option is correct here so second question is find the mode of the distribution of marks obtained by the students in an examination we have to find out the mode so we have this table and we will find out mode so let's start we have the formula of mode is here I am writing mode formula is L plus F1 minus F0 over 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. So what are all these terms I will discuss with you. So first of all here we need to find out the model class and that we have found out in the first part so model class is that class where there is a maximum frequency this is maximum frequency 21 sorry 29 so it is 60 to 80 so 60 to 80 is the model class so what is the lower limit of model class that is l here l is 60 here so what is the frequency of model class that is f1 and the frequency of the previous class or preceding class then the model class that is F0 and the class which is succeeding the model class means the next class frequency is F2 right. So here you can write F0 is 21 or you can say F0 and F1 is 29 and F2 is 17 right and here we can find out H, H is the class size. So what is the size here in each class intervals there is 20, 20 size because upper limit minus lower limit 60 minus 40, 20, 80 minus 60, 20. So 20 is the class size right. Now fill the values here in the formula. So let's see what is mode coming. Mode is equal to L, L is 60 plus F1 minus F0, 29 minus 21 over 2F1, 2 into 29 is 58 minus f0 that is 21 minus f2 that is 17 into h h is here 20 right so let's see what is coming 60 plus 29 minus 21 is 8 over 58 minus this is 38 so 58 minus 38 is 20 so into 20 also so 20 20 cancel so 60 plus 8 is 68 so mode is 68 here so the correct option is b 68 is the mode so next question is given the mean of the above data distribution is 53 mean is given 53 mod we have 68 here we have found out using empirical relationship estimate the value of its median so we need to find out median because we have mean and mode with us we can find out median with empirical formula so i tell you what is empirical formula 
so empirical formula is mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean so this is mode formula okay so mode we have found out here 68 is equal to 3 into median so median we need to find out minus 2 into mean so mean is given to us here 53 in the question so 2 into 53 so here we can find out so 68 it is is equal to 3 into median and what is uh, this 53 into 2 this is 106 so this 106 will come to this side so it becomes 68 plus 106 is equal to 3 median okay so add these uh, it is uh, this is uh, 174 is 3 median and median is here median is 174 divided by 3 so 5 3 is a 15 24 it becomes 8 3 is a 24 so 58 is the uh, mean uh, sorry median okay so d option is correct here so let's see what is the next question asked here the construction of the cumulative frequency table is useful in determining the we know when we are to construct the cumulative frequency we need to find out the median for finding out the median we need to construct the cumulative frequency okay so this we know already so fifth part is now what will be the upper limit of the model class so model class i told you the class interval where there is a maximum frequency is model class so if you see here in the table 29 is the highest frequency here so 60 to 80 is the model class and what is the upper limit of 60 to 80 that is 80 okay so this way we will solve this question thanks for watching